Mike Gurnett's day starts with a phone call. Can you give me a moose list for this morning? Over. 206. A dispatcher tells him at what mile of track the kills have come throughout the night. First thing he does is look out, see if it's snowing. Man, especially this year, you think, oh, God, more snow. You know, how many is it going to be today? Uh, he's on the uh, west side in one car. Uh, that'll do, Mike. The Moose Crew's first stop, mile 188, a young bull struck last night by a freight engine. At mile 191, their second find has had to wait. Throughout the morning, they gather up a total of 13 moose from the rail bed, bulls, calves, and cows. The moose are the victims of heavy snowfall. They choose to walk the clear tracks instead of fighting the snow drifts. By midday, all the moose must be butchered in the field to keep them from spoiling. Not surprisingly, it is the toughest part of this salvage effort, physically and emotionally. You know, we're not a psychologist or nothing, but when you see death every day, you know, it kind of wears on you, you know, and uh, you just kind of ask yourself, God, you know, how much longer can it go? And... Nine hours after they left, the moose crew is welcomed back to its Willow Station. For Alaskans on the moose kill list, it has been a good year. I'll gut it out. Yeah, it's super. It's fantastic. Easier than hunting. <laughs> These pictures may make many Alaskans angry, but it is here where the best of a bad situation can be seen. The railroad has tried to solve this problem without success, and with no solution in the near future, this killing will continue. In Willow, Todd Pottinger, Channel 2 News.